In this video, we'll show you how to create a landing page from start to finish with a fully working newsletter system and sign up form. Let's take a look at what we'll build. Here's the actual landing page. It consists of a newsletter sign up form and in return, users who have subscribed will receive a coupon with a 20% discount for our store. We've used the example website from one of our previous videos on how to make an online store and we'll go through all the details from building the actual page using Elementor to setting up an email newsletter and integrating a subscription form on our landing page. We'll also explore the settings that are essential for the correct operation of an email newsletter. At the end, we'll also set up discount coupons in WooCommerce that we'll add to our welcome email to newly added subscribers from our landing page and that will serve as an incentive for them to sign up. First, let's take a look at the official definition of a landing page as given by wikipedia.org. The general goal of a landing page is to convert site visitors into sales or leads. If the goal is to obtain a lead, the landing page will include some method for the visitor to get into contact with the company, usually a phone number or an inquiry form. We start off by installing a newsletter plugin for WordPress. So go to the plugins menu, add new, and run a search for newsletter. The one we'll use is newsletter, and you can see that it's widely used with over 300,000 downloads, and it has good reviews, so that's the one we'll go with, but you should be able to get the job done with just about every other plugin on that list. The other notable plugins are MailPoet and MailChimp, but MailChimp is paid for newsletters with over 2,000 subscribers, and it also uses their email service, while in our case, We'll be sending the messages to our subscribers via the ICDsoft email service that's included with every hosting account so you don't have to spend any extra money. So let's proceed to install and activate newsletter. The newsletter plugin comes with a very neat quick configuration wizard. First you want to set up the sender name and email. The plugin will automatically apply your site title for the name so that should be okay for most cases. Choose what information you'd like to get from your subscribers, we'll disable the privacy checkbox and we're now ready, we've just created a page where your visitors will subscribe and where they will edit their preferences. The plugin automatically creates a subscription page named newsletter but we'll create our own one. You can send yourself a test message and you should be able to receive it right away. If you do encounter an error at that point, you can contact our support team for help. Let's go to the newsletter plugin, settings and more menu. Go to the delivery speed tab there and enter 200 for the max emails per hour. In that way, if you have a large list of subscribers, let's say 1000 or more, the whole job will be split into smaller tasks. By doing that, you will avoid clogging the email queue on the server with too many messages, making sure that your emails will go out smoothly. At the list building menu, general tab, set the opt-in to double opt-in. This forces the visitor filling out the form to confirm their email address, which will protect you from having fake registrations. We'll also set the repeated subscriptions to no, because we don't want to have duplicate subscribers in our email newsletter. Go to the security menu, and we want to make sure that our subscription form is protected against automated submissions. Bots often target unprotected forms on the internet and send out spam through them. This is a serious problem nowadays as it could result in blacklists against the email server which would in turn have a negative impact on the deliverability of your own messages. That's why you need to ensure that your website forms are protected against such abuse. If you're using the Akismet plugin, it's a good idea to enable it here and integrate it with our subscription form. Newsletter will then use Akismet to check every subscription and block it if Akismet signals a high probability of spam. The anti-flood option is important, so we'll turn it on and we'll set it to one minute. This time interval signifies just how quickly two subscriptions from the same email address or the same IP address can be accepted. And at last, we'll enable the capture protection. It's one of the most effective protections against automated submissions. The capture is not shown on the subscription forms, but adds a second subscription step where the capture is displayed. So these are all the important settings that we had to apply for the proper operation of our newsletter. Note that you can use this plugin to run your own newsletter campaigns from the newsletter create newsletter menu. For example, if you click on the a big offer, you can modify it, save it, and then send it over to all your subscribers, either right away or schedule it for a specific time. Our next step is to set up our actual landing page. 
go to the WordPress dashboard, Pages, Add New Menu. We'll name our page Subscribe and we'll change its attributes to Elementor Canvas. This is important because it will hide our standard theme menu and footer sections and we'll start with a blank page. We'll design our page with Elementor, so press the Edit with Elementor button on top. Once the Elementor interface has loaded, press the Add New Section button, One Column Structure, select it, go to the Style tab, the Background Type menu, Classic, Choose Image, and let's insert an image from our gallery. We'll set the position to Center Center. Now go to the Layout tab and make sure the content width is set to Boxed. The Columns gap should be default and set the height setting to Minimum Height. We'll play around with the Overlay effect to make it pop a little bit more. So go back to the Style tab, Background Overlay, set the type to Classic. And we'll use that particular greenish color. We'll set the Opacity to 0.24. Now we'll add a little effect, go to the Shape Divider menu, set the type to Tilt, and we'll select a color. Now press the plus sign and drop an intersection element or element. Drag and drop an HTML element in the left column and enter the shortcode Newsletter. That shortcode is part of the newsletter plugin and it will automatically generate the form we set up during the initial configuration of the plugin via the welcome wizard. Add the advanced tab, unlink the padding and set the top to 100. Now drag and drop a heading type of element in the right column and enter the text, subscribe to our newsletter and get a 20% discount promo code. Go to its style tab, change the text color to white, press the typography button and we'll change the font family to let's say Ropa Sans and the size would be 59. Add the advanced tab, unlink the padding and set the top padding to 20. Now I'll drag and drop a text editor element below it and I'll enter the following text there. Now let's change this text color to white. Let's add a new section underneath and we'll do that by pressing the add template button under the blocks tab, make a search for services and I'll just insert the one called design services. So I'll select the entire section, then I'll go to the advanced tab and set the top padding to zero. This will remove that white space above. Let's remove the label on top. So right click, delete, and we'll customize the icons below. And to do that, you just need to click on one of the icons, then go to the content tab, icon, icon library, choose image. We'll use a mail icon for the first one and the text would say something along the lines of subscribe to our newsletter and get a 20% discount coupon. The second one could be titled order online. We'll use a card icon for it. Order online and get a free delivery of our products right at your door. The third one could be free delivery and we can use a truck icon. So now that we've done all that, let's change the color of our icon boxes to match the green color at our header. So select the first icon box to edit it and go to the Style tab, Icon menu and set the secondary color of the icon. Now you can click on the Content menu and change the color of the heading as well. And again we'll use that same greenish color. And now we'll apply these changes to all the other icon boxes. Our next task is to fix the styling of our subscription form. Currently the labels are barely readable as they are in black color. 
Let's take a look at the actual CSS file of the newsletter plugin. It's under the plugins folder of your WordPress installation and you can see the folder of the actual plugin newsletter and there is the style.css file. We've opened it with the file manager that's available in the control panel and you can see the text on top. This file is overwritten every time you update the plugin. Use the custom CSS option in the subscription setting panel for your own custom CSS rules. So the proper way to apply such style changes is through the WordPress dashboard newsletter menu, settings and more, advanced settings tab. There you would notice the custom styles area. Let's check the documentation. This function allows advanced users to personalize some aspects of the design of our forms, fonts, buttons, etc. If we take a look at the original CSS file, you can see this class, TMP subscription label. That should refer to the labels over our input fields. So to change their color to white, we should overwrite the original values with our custom ones. We'll do that by entering the following code here. TMP subscription, and you can see that the color is white. And the important string gives us more priority to our specific rules. And to make the button black, the subscribe button, we'll add the following code, TMP submit. The background color is all zeros, so that's the hex code for black. And again, we're using the important keyword. So let's check out our page now. Make sure to refresh it. You might have to clear the cache of your browser. And you can see that our customizations have been applied. The labels are now white and the subscribe button is black. We'll set up a coupon for our shopping cart, providing users with a 20% discount and that will serve as an incentive for visitors to sign up. So to do that, go to the WooCommerce coupons menu, press the add coupon button. Let's enter a name for it. Let's say newsletter 20. I'll set the discount type to percentage discount and the amount would be 20. Press the publish button at the end. Now we'll add that coupon in the welcome email that are sent to users who have completed the double opt-in procedure and have subscribed successfully. Go to the newsletter plugin, list building, click on the welcome tab. There in the welcome email field, we'll enter our coupon code. So we'll change the text to your subscription has been confirmed to get 20% discount on your, on your next order. Enter promo code newsletter20. And now that we're fully ready, we can go ahead and test our form. Let's log out of our WordPress dashboard and go to our subscription page. Ours is available at icdsoftstoredemo.com slash subscribe. So we'll enter our name and email and we'll use the Postmaster mailbox under our domain for testing purposes. Press the subscribe button and you can see the message. A confirmation email is on the way. Follow the instructions and check the spam folder. Thank you. Let's check out our Postmaster mailbox and you can see the message there. It's from Organic Foods and Products, just as we set it up. The subject is please confirm your subscription. Open it and you can see the text. Please confirm your subscription by clicking here. Let's confirm it. Your subscription has been confirmed and now we should receive the actual welcome email with the 20% discount coupon. There it is to get a 20% discount on your next order. Enter promo code newsletter20. So this wraps up our video on creating landing pages with WordPress. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or contact our support team.